Was it easy to, to find the jihadist groups, the foreign jihadi groups? It was very easy. I was working for a small NGO on the border, building up relationships. After crossing inside Syria, I was at a friend's house and a neighbor invited me to stay for dinner. It was me, a few Russians, some Chechens, a few Saudis, people from all over. So many nations sitting at the same table, eating the exact same food. And they all have the feeling that they are all brothers and equal. There are thousands of us, literally from every corner of the earth, and a lot from Europe. Europeans are the third largest group after the Saudis and Chechens. And what did you and the other members of this foreign jihadi group think was your goal? As long as the regime is there and the oppression of your Muslim brothers is still happening, then getting rid of the regime is the goal. The final result will be an Islamic state because we believe Sharia or Islamic law includes everything. We are all Al-Qaeda in the sense of ideology and mindset. Syria has a particularly important place for Muslims. It's a particularly significant area religiously. Is that something which plays into the number of people who are attracted to actually going to Syria from other countries to go and fight the jihad there? It is very, very important. There's a saying of the Prophet Muhammad that if Islam in the greater Syria region is corrupted, then there will not be any correct Islam anywhere in the world. It is considered a red line, so I'd assume this would mean more people going, and it makes the ones there fight harder. Is this jihad defined in a sort of sectarian way as well, in the sense that it is a fight against the Shia population? It's definitely a fight against the Shia. Shia is not a sect of Islam. The differences between Sunni and Shia are so huge that they're not related to our religion in any way. On the battlefield, it's legitimate to kill them. In areas we control, we would force them to stop calling themselves Muslims. It's irritating. They disagree with us on some of the core concepts of our religion. You've now left this foreign jihadist group. Why did you decide to do that? Because they joined the Islamic State of Iraq and Greater Syria. Not all of Al-Qaeda's ideas are correct. For example, we should kill the blasphemers and take pride in 9-11. These are not correct and have no basis in our religion. Our group recently took on the bad ideas of Al-Qaeda. We all want an Islamic state, but the ways they're getting there are wrong. Some of the Europeans came with an extreme ideology. Yes, I think they would be a danger to the West. I wouldn't want them to go back, though. It's the same people with the same 9-11 ideology. And is the risk of that increasing? I mean, as you've said now that... For example, the group you're involved with has now pledged fully allegiance to Al-Qaeda. Does that mean that amongst the foreigners there, there's now a greater risk of this happening? I think so, yes.